Welcome to Vivid History, bring you vivid and fascinating historical stories through colorized photos. The phrase, go west young man, is often attributed to Horace Greeley, but explorers had been venturing westward since the arrival of Europeans in North America. They returned with stories of vast prairies, towering mountains, and immense rivers and lakes. Some explored out of curiosity, while others were hired to survey lands for settlement or to hunt for furs. These explorers paved the way for pioneers and settlers to push further westward. Jedediah Smith, a fur trapper and explorer, played a crucial role in opening up the American West. He was one of the first Americans to cross the Mojave Desert and the Sierra Madres, leading the first known exploration of the area between the Great Salt Lake and the Colorado River. Smith's maps remained in use by the U.S. Army for years after his death, highlighting the significance of his expeditions. Unfortunately, his life was cut short when he was killed by Comanches during an expedition towards Santa Fe at the age of 32. Simon Kenton, born in Virginia, fled to Kentucky at 16 after mistakenly thinking he had killed a man in a fight. He explored the Ohio River country and developed a reputation as a skilled woodsman. Despite being taken prisoner by the Shawnee and enduring brutal tortures, Kenton survived and eventually led settlers to present-day Urbana, Ohio. He was a friend of Daniel Boone and played a role in saving Boone's life during a Shawnee attack. Kenton explored the land north of the Ohio and was known by the Shawnee as the white man who could not be killed. Ned Beal, a forgotten explorer, led an adventurous life that gained him fame throughout the nation. He served in both the Army and the Navy, made multiple coast-to-coast -coast trips, and became friends with notable figures like Ulysses S. Grant and Kit Carson. His most significant contribution was building Beale's Road, which later became the basis for Route 66 and Interstate 40. William Manley, a skilled woodsman and explorer, embarked on a journey to strike it rich in the West after learning of gold strikes in California. Joined by a group of men, they encountered challenges and became hopelessly lost eventually finding themselves on the edge of Death Valley. Manley and another man named John Haney Rogers volunteered to find a way out, successfully traversing the Mojave Desert and becoming the first known white men to cross Death Valley. John Wesley Powell, a fearless explorer, embarked on numerous expeditions in the American West, Despite losing his right arm in the Battle of Shiloh, he continued to serve in the Union Army and played a vital role in battles such as Atlanta, Nashville, and Vicksburg. Powell's expeditions, which included navigating through the canyons of Utah and the Colorado River, led him to believe that most of the land in the West was unsuitable for farming, a view that clashed with the railroad's interests. His foresight was proven correct during the Dust Bowl in the 1920s and 30s. John Henry Weber, a Danish immigrant, joined the Ashley Henry Fur Company in 1822 and embarked on a trapping expedition with notable fur traders like Jim Bridger and Jedediah Smith. Weber's leadership led his brigade to explore the Bear River region and trap in the areas of northern Utah and southern Idaho. During his journey, Weber's brigade encountered a British trapping expedition, leading to a dispute over trapping rights that resulted in American employees leaving the British company to join Weber's brigade. After wintering in the Great Salt Lake region, Weber returned to Missouri, leaving behind a legacy that would eventually lead to the naming of Weber River, Weber Canyon, and Weber County. William Dunbar, a Scottish merchant who settled in America, established a successful plantation in Spanish territory named The Forest. He was known for his inventiveness, 
including creating a screw press for cottonseed oil and baling cotton in squares. When Thomas Jefferson sent multiple expeditions to explore the West, Dunbar organized the Red River Expedition of 1804 and later planned the Great Expedition, although his failing health prevented him from leading it. Lafayette Bunnell, born in New York in 1824, followed his uncle's advice and headed west to seek his fortune. During the California Gold Rush, he first laid eyes on Yosemite from a distance, but couldn't find any information about it. As a member of the California State Militia, Bunnell crossed the Merced River and named the valley Yosemite after having the men vote on a name. He later served as a surgeon in the Civil War and wrote books about his experiences. Josiah Gregg, a successful trader and interpreter, made numerous trips between Santa Fe and Missouri, chronicling his adventures in a book called Commerce of the Prairies. He also discovered many previously unknown plant specimens during his travels. In 1849, Greg joined the gold rush and embarked on an arduous journey to chart unexplored territory, but tragically died on the way back, leaving a lasting legacy with over 40 plants named in his honor. Jim Bridger, the son of a Virginia innkeeper, ventured west in the early 1820s as a fur trapper. He played a significant role in the famous Hugh Glass story, volunteering to stay with Glass after he was attacked by a grizzly bear. Bridger explored the Yellowstone area and is credited with being one of the first Europeans to see the Great Salt Lake, though this claim is now disputed. Known for his storytelling abilities, Bridger's exaggerated tales of the West contributed to his legendary status and the naming of various places in his honor. <laughs>